Hi, I'm Tom Lonsborough. I'm the Certified Ableton Tutor here at Manchester B School. Um, just want to show you how easy it is to build your own drum kit in Live 8 using a drum rack, uh, how easy it is to knock a beat together, and we'll do some other forms of beat slicing as well. So I've just loaded a, a blank drum rack into a, a MIDI track here. Um, we've got the browser open, um, a samples folder that I've got stored on my hard drive, and it's as easy as this really. Find the drum sounds that you want to add. Make sure the headphone icon's on in the browser so you can audition the sounds. Use the arrow keys to cycle through. When you're happy with the drum sound, just drag and drop it onto your drum rack. With the track arm button enabled, I can then play that using the keyboard. Dead easy, so let's find a snare the same way. Quite like that, let's get that on there. Kick in the snare now. Uh, alternatively, it's quite nice to be able to pinch the drum sounds from your favorite tunes. So all I've done here is, is loaded up one of my favorite tunes into the arrange page. Really good, powerful drums there. We can get those into the drum rack if you like. Um, all we do is highlight the sound, get hold of it with the mouse, arrow down to the drum rack, and just drop it onto a blank cell of the drum rack. Do the same for the snare, highlight it with the mouse, get hold of it, arrow down to the drum rack, and just drop that on. We've got control of that now. Just finally, uh, I'll find a hat sound and then we'll program in a beat. So going back to the, the other way, let's find a cymbal. That'll do. And there we go, we've just built our own drum kit using the combination of samples that we've already got on our hard drive and also pinching sounds from existing tunes or loops. So to program in a beat, double click an empty uh, clip slot on your MIDI track. You might find it easy to program in the beat with the metronome on. Also, this is a handy feature from the edit menu, record quantization. I'm gonna turn that on with the re re um, record arm, track arm button on. I'm just gonna launch the clip and that'll start to cycle around. With the overdub button on, we can just start to dub notes in. And notice that because, because record quantization is on, they've automatically been snapped um, to the quantization that I've set. And now we've got a, a rough beat down, I can turn off the metronome, it's annoying. and there's your rough feet. So we've looked at building your own drum kit um, and programming a simple beat using live drum rack. I will take that one stage further now, a very powerful feature that's been in live since version seven, um, which is sliced a new MIDI track. And this automatically slices an audio clip up into MIDI data and populates a brand new drum rack for you. So I've got a break beat here. Very simply, right click on the clip, pick the option which says slice the new MIDI track. Now, there's a few different slicing options. You can slice by warp marker, transient, uh, by a whole bar, or by quantized divisions of a bar. Uh, I'm gonna pick transient. I'm just gonna click on okay. The audio file is now sliced up. You can see the slices been put very kindly onto a, a brand new drum rack for me, which I can play using the keyboard. We also get the MIDI file that represents the audio version of the drum loop, so we can fire that off. So there's a few different things we can do with this. Uh, we can either program in a new beat ourselves, metronome on. The 
program in a new beat like that or manipulate the MIDI data for the drum beat that's already there. So you can really mangle up the beat. Try a different quantization value of that. Give the drum beat a totally different feel. But you don't just have to slice up drum beats, what about perhaps slicing up an acapella? I've just got a four bar acapella here for Missy Elliott's track. I'm going to perform the same action on it. Right click, slice the new MIDI track. This time I'm just going to pick eighth notes. The audio file will be sliced into eighths. Each eighth is put on a, a brand new cell within the drum rack, so I can manipulate that with the keyboard. And we've also got the MIDI representation of the a cappella to mess about with as well. So if I fire that off and start to mangle that. So that's drum racks and slicing to new MIDI tracks.